flashing out the plugs, put new ones in it. We're gonna put some heat in the motor to readjust the valve lash on it. On the solid roller motor, the valve lash will move, everything kind of works itself, so you have to go constantly go back and readjust it on solid roller. You come out a little bit later than I wanted it to. Woo! Heart pound. So, when the guy broke, we were in testing tune, and then they called the stick shift class up as we were pulling up the water box. So, long story short, they said we can go run our test pass, come back around, minimum cool down, and then get back in the lanes. So, that's what we're doing. Fuel, nitrous, a little bit of cool down, and here we are. Well, um, it went down in the heat. Uh, we did a 1960 foot, choking the tires and keeping the nose on the ground was a challenge, but it was how fun. How did I shut down? Uh, don't pull the chute past the tree or the finish line, or you won't stop. <laughs> it was so, bad. It's choking the tires at the end of the track, trying to stop it. The only guy supposed to spun around? Oh, yeah, the F 150 was next to me. He was swerving and turned it sideways at the net to stop the truck. It was yeah. bad. It was yeah. very bad. down I assume 119 really yeah I figured uh, that clutch would uh, be a little hot oh it was hot I could so on the two three I could feel it uh, it only went 524 at 130 uh, mile per hour down we'll dig at 161 but I don't know how early I pulled the shoot I pulled it early so it looked like it deployed at one as soon as you started going up the hill 161 mile an hour but an 814 that sounds we'll look way at the log. off we'll look at the log 
good. I, that's a good qualifier right there. Let it get us in the hunt. All right, guys. So on that last pass, as you can see, we got uh, first top of first gear to second, top of second gear to third. And then we get down here to the bottom. Okay, and then we start getting all these wavy lines in there. So you can kind of see them. They're just, whoa, 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 you know. And then we get up to here and just kind of plateaus all the way across. So hot clutch on that last pass from the previous pass. And you can see that it was slipping because if I go over here to the first pass and we highlight it, you can kind of see. So a little bit of push flare and then I'll click fourth. And you can see how smooth this is all the way up, steadily climbing. These are probably just some little divots in the track, but it's not slipping. And there we go back down. So, shut down. so what we're going to end up doing is he just put a little bit of a, he just put like a gram on there just for some insurance. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you. All right, guys. So if you've never seen what a long stop clutch looks like, this is a Black Magic Next Gen. It's a three arm. And as you can see, we got washers on here. So up here, there's like little holes to where you can turn base pressure and it's a spring that puts pressure on the disc. So when I go to dump the clutch or heath, what it does is that base pressure is gonna act like a diaphragm. So if I dump the clutch, let's just say I added 500 pounds of pressure. So when I dump the clutch, it's getting 500 pounds of pressure right off the rig. Well, the rest of the pressure to come clamp the disc comes from these. These are little arms, and what they do is you can add washers on them. You measure them in grams. Right now, this one has 86 grams on a three lever. And so as RPM goes up and starts spinning, these start to fan out, they start pushing. So when they fan out through centrifugal force, it starts pressing on the springs and pushing on the disc. So the higher the RPM, the more force this is generating, the more pressure it puts on the disc. So that's how you can get your slipping effect because when you dump it, you get your base pressure first and as RPM starts to rise, it starts to clamp on the disc. And that's how you can cleave. So if you wanna, if your clutch is slipping on the back end, just put more weight up on here or maybe add a little bit of base pressure with it. But that's how you tune these clutches. It's basically by just small washers and hardware and just a little bit of mechanical science. So they called us up to the lanes. We're gonna run Q2. Got a, like an 8 tune up in it, cleaned up some of the uh, parameters. So we should be doing pretty good. But gonna call 804 at 176. Another thing that was kind of mentioned when we started, when we first got into the heat of the day, we uh, loosened up the limiter so we could get some more weight back there, but the, uh, because we didn't think the track was going to be good, but then it started to stand up, so we went ahead and put the limiters back where they were, so we tightened up the front end. big deal. Had a little too spicy tune up in it, but just Q2. We're still number one on the qualifier. So, but well, I tell you what, tomorrow, A to B, got our tune up, got our clutch strut. So I think we're going to uh, just run what we know and then just go A to B. A little bit of B-roll. We got Brent LaSalle versus Devin. Get a lick in. A little bit of redemption from last night. But uh, we 
it down to 3850 and it left the ramp in. So hopefully it tracks a little bit better. Track is tight this morning. I'm trying to go away a little bit later, but uh, wow, that was just a soft tune up. Came down and we're going right, so I just barely tapped the gas and it freaking hit the nitrous again. Yeah, and I was like, Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how high it was, but I, That's I, said, I, lost, sight, there. I lost sight of everything. And yeah. I said, I said, I snatched it in, I was like, All right, yeah, we're done. <laughs> That's hey, tight, just tighten on the front. Yeah. Yep. Two step. Two step. Changing something? No. No? No. Well, I tied the front end down a little bit. Okay. And a little shock adjuster. That's it. Okay. So we'll see if we can keep the nose down. It'll either go or not the tires. If it'll go, I think it'll keep the nose down. It may knock the tires off now. So this will be E1, and we have the buy run, number one qualifier still. And the difference that we made in the tune was we just went ahead, went from like target AFR to uh, 12.5 to 12.7, and hopefully that kind of cleans it up because on the shift, just want to pop through the intake and ignite some loose fuel and whatnot in the intake. So yeah, so we got buy run. So side note, Thomas West has the LS S2000. He's broke the motor, the transmission, and the drive line. So he'll be out. He was actually one of the contenders that we was kind of worried about because that car is fast if it goes A to B. But uh, somebody also added like some salt to the wound and wrote, Real Teal is my daddy on the bottom of his car. I don't know what kind of asshole does that, but uh, I'll keep my eye out for him. <laughs> Of course, 
we knew that was probably fixing to happen. The traction's too hot, it's greasy, and it's just not gonna hold a lot of these high power cars. Especially a stick car. Well, we got Jesse from Lasseter back with us. Have a little bit of fun, problem, but we'll see what he does. Justin got 988 in the other lane. PB for him. Way to go, Jesse. up and down is with the tuning and all but we're tuning for the track we're, we're trying to go a to b i know we do want to like set the world on fire and run a really good pass but right now the priority number one is win this race so going a to b not tired last time we turned down just a little bit just to make sure it hooks and goes and uh we got a really fast evo coming in the next round uh it's all wheel drive and he went like a 924 like 152 so we can't afford to lose a second so if we knock the tires we're going to scramble trying to get it back But uh, seeing it popped, kind of fluttered over there in three to four, backfired. So uh, did a good recover on it. But uh, that Honda that went ahead behind us ended up clicking off like an 838 or like 170 something. that one so we're gonna just go back look at the log see where we clean it up and then uh wick it up in the short track Fun final, ain't it? <laughs> uh, 
Oh, don't come down to the final. Man, those two cars, they're close. Pretty, but no, that was on a back car on the two three that time. Oh no, all right. So we got the final, and we got a Honda, a really fast Honda. And we made a change. Hopefully, that fixed the box car issues. But the only way to do or to tell is to do it. And I so hope that we fixed it because that Honda is consistent. And dude's gone like 830s for like pass after pass after pass and we can't afford to lose even a second on it but regardless man we're here we in the finals so we're going home with cash and, and a trophy and uh i think it'll uh, i think that's probably worth the trip because i don't know man we had not got this far with this car yet so and it's nice for everybody to get out and see it people coming up to us saying yeah is that real too yeah that's real too so one for the people. change work or just like sure dumb luck we got it oh, my heart my heart is happening so bad <laughs> we appreciate Zach Gasco for tuning Wesley Evans for the tips on the chassis and all the guys back home that are watching on their TVs my voice is gone it is ridiculous oh I have not felt this sad about a race in a while Woo! Oh, he deserves that so much. He just swapped cars forever. And he got it. Real till it's bad, baby. <laughs> I probably pulled it at like 900. I don't even know. <laughs> I, it, was, it was on a roll. Everybody back home is going crazy right Dude, now. Listen, so for anybody that's wondering why we've been fighting nitrous backfire, I happened to look down at the bottles and they were at like, what, 950 before yeah, we made yeah, this Yeah, one was like 1,000. And then I looked at the gauge on the dash and it said 800. So we, all day long, we've been running like 150 over on bottle pressure. So when I thought we were running at 900, we're running at like 1050. So that's why we've been having nitrous backfires all day long. 
It has nothing to do with anything but too Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Oh my God. Got a PB and boy. Hey, you think they might let you make a hero pass? I'm tired. <laughs> Come on, let's make a hero pass. We gotta finish this one out. We have to cool it all down and redo the bottles. I mean, I, I, all right. we'll, we'll do hero pass in like South Georgia or something. All right. Appreciate it. Come on.